Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to the 20th episode of Python's Realm. Thank you so much once again for the support you have been showing throughout this series. We reached over 1100 likes in the last episode, which is super appreciated. Thank you so much for that. And in today's episode, we are going to be taking down the pirate invasion. And after that, hopefully we will wind up uh, in the underground jungle and maybe take it down Plantera as well. That would be super, super awesome. And yeah, as you can see, since the last episode, I went to the right-hand side ocean biome, as you can see right here. And I went ahead and looted a bunch of chests. There was actually five chests of stuff. I mean, as you can see, we've got all of this stuff right here. And quite frankly, it's just a ridiculous amount of stuff. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to complain about it. I'm never going to complain again about getting myself some of those good old goodies. Alright, so uh, yeah, man, I mean, we got like flippers and all sorts of other stuff. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this thing rolling, my friends. The time has come. Hey, there we go. Hey, here they come. Here comes the cavalry. Oh, they all coming in now, son. Oh, uh, you like don't even know what's about to happen to you. You're about to get absolutely destroyed, Sonny Jim. But oh, mate, look at all this. Here we go. This is how you do it. This is how you do all the damage. Oh, what's the matter? Can't you open it? Are you too dumb? Lol. I mean, there's pressure plates right there. It really isn't that difficult to try and get th through to me. You know what I'm saying? These guys are just being incredibly stupid. But uh, talking of being incredibly stupid. I mean, just look at these guys. They keep coming along, trying, thinking they can come and get me, but it's just not going to happen, is it? Uh, I'm about to die. I'm kind of nervous right now. Oh, mate, I'm about to get mauled. Oh, okay. Okay, well, uh, I feel pretty safe up here for now. Uh, can I, like, maybe get the nurse to come along? Uh, okay, so if I go ahead and get rid of you, or actually, I'm going to get rid of you. And if we just, like, roll away and come back or something... Ow! What the hell? God damn it! <laughs> oh, mate. Hey, here we go. This is how we do damage. Keep it going. Look, even, uh, even the pirate captain is going down. Come on, man. You might have 6,000 health, but god freaking damn, I ain't about to get killed to you. It's not happening. There's a cutlass up there. Now, first rare drop. It's actually probably the most common drop you get from it, in fact. Apart from the golden furniture, of course. Ow. No. No. It's a heavy cutlass, which means it's it's just slower, right? Yeah. Don't stop falling down into my dang base, you jerks. Oh, God. Oh, now things are getting tasty. Oh. Where's that pie? Oh, is he actually stuck? I might be able to cheese him out. No, 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 no. How about no, you don't do that? Come on, dude. Alright, buddy. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you so hard right now. Alright, here we go. I'm not gonna kill him, like, at all, am I? Uh, no, it's not gonna happen, and now he's gonna spawn kill us. This is, uh, oh, what the hell? Alright, guy, are you getting killed, son? Well, that lasted a long time, didn't it? Alright, maybe I can get something going here. Just give us something, man. I beg of you. Alright. I mean, I guess we can start taking down these dudes now. I don't actually think it... No. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Oh, for goodness sake. Alright. This pirate captain, I am taking down, okay? You better believe your ass I'm taking him down. Here we go. Okay. Captain's almost down. Captain is down, and of course he didn't drop anything, because that's how Terraria is today. Alright, that's absolutely fantastic. Man, that's one of the things I don't like about Terraria, is, is how the RNG can either be an absolute delight, or it can absolutely crap all over your day. Ugh, God damn it! Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can't get some more dudes here taken down. Wait, I might be able to farm these guys out. Can I farm these guys out and get, like, rare drops from them? If so, this might just be the best farm I've ever come up with, ever. Come on, then. Oh, yeah, you want to take me down, mate? It ain't going to happen, is it? Right, I'm going to get it down to one turret, and then I'm, I'm, I'm just going to farm these guys up. Maybe we'll get ourselves some epic drops or something. I don't know, man. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of farming, if we can, of course, and let's see how we do. 
Alrighty guys, and that will do it for the pirate invasion. I farmed the guys for quite a long time and I pretty much only got golden furniture, unfortunately, which, uh, well, you know, isn't the greatest thing in the world. But the only special thing we really got from that is the cutlass and even then we're not going to use it because it just isn't as good as some of the other stuff that we have. So, uh, yeah. It's a bit unfortunate, but, oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, you know, such is the way with Terraria sometimes. Ooh, check it out, guys. We've got a sandstorm event and another sand elemental. The time has come, my friends, to get this forbidden set of armor created, I think, because this would, in fact, be the very first time I ever have it created. So, yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to seeing how this looks. All right. I'll tell you what. It's actually kind of hard trying to defeat her because of the, the fact that you can't move around very well. So, I don't know. Just uh, adds a little bit of a challenge. There we go. The third... And final Forbidden Fragment. There we go. Fantastic. We got it. Nice one. Okay, so we now have three of those things, which means all we need to do is get a bunch of titanium bars, which is actually going to be quite a uh, quite a task. We only have three right now. We need another 51, I do believe. I Although I can't remember, actually. Hmm. I may need to remind myself real quick on uh, how many bars we need to make. Wait, wait, what? Oh, yeah, the guy's dead, isn't he? Whoops. Uh, yeah, we, we no longer have a guide on this one. Dang it! Oh, right, and the reason why this isn't valid. Yes, okay. Well, I've been a complete derp. So you can go there. Uh, we need some leaves up here real quick. Boom, boom. There we go. And then we need the wood wand. Wait, hey, come back here. We need the wood wand. So you go in there. Wood wand, wood wand, wood wand. Living wood wand. Boom, boom, boom. So, yeah, I kind of accidentally broke two of the NPC houses so I could uh, farm out the dudes from the pirate invasion. Yeah, that was a thing. But, uh, anyways, uh, hmm. Yeah, maybe we should continue on our track to getting the Plantera arena done. So, yeah, let's do that. And I'll meet you guys down there once the arena is finished. Ooh, in the meantime, we can make ourselves a GPS. And the mana flower. Awesome. And it's menacing already. That's fantastic, man. That's genuinely, genuinely fantastic. I'm very, very happy with that. Nice one. Aha! So, check it out, guys. It turns out we only need 46 titanium bars in order to make the forbidden armor. And I do believe it goes the same way for the frost armor as well. So, in total, if we wanted to make both sets of these two hybrid armors, we would need a total of 92 bars, which is 92 times 5, which I do believe is going to be 460 ore. So we need to get 460 ore if we want to make both the Frost Armor and the Forbidden Mask. I don't even know if we have that amount of titanium ore in this world. Hmm. Okay. Right. I think Plantera can wait for now. I really do think she can wait for now. Because honestly speaking, I feel like we can put our time to better use in terms of getting ourselves all geared up. And uh, speaking of which, we can actually make ourselves one more titanium bar. There we go. Nice one. Okay. So here's what I'm thinking. I don't know if we've taken down every single demon altar that exists in this world. In fact, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty convinced that we haven't. Uh, yeah, demon altar, demon altar, demon altar, demon altar. So the more demon altars we break, the more ores that do wind up spawning inside of our world. So it looks like the other two corruption biomes that exist in the left-hand side of the world do not have their demon altars broken. Uh, over here, it looks like they are, so that's fantastic. So yeah, I'm thinking we head over to the corruption real quick and we break down the remaining demon altars that exist inside of this world, just in an attempt to get ourselves some more titanium spawn. Alright, let's do it. Here we go, my friends. The swarm of wraiths is gonna conglomerate very, very shortly. The more of these we break, the more wraiths are gonna spawn. Alright, so that's uh, three demon altars broken. Uh, there's one over here. Uh, oh, that's right. We're gonna get slowed down because there's expert mode and there's environmental health hazards. So let's have a bit of that going. Alright, and you can get destroyed there, Sonny Jim. There we go. More our calcum. Alright, nice one. And here comes the oncoming swarm. Get destroyed, everybody. Yeah, 47 magic damage. Why am I doing so much more damage to these peeps? Or am I? Oh, do you know what? It's actually the, the crystal that's floating above me. That's what's doing the damage. Yes. Now it makes sense. All right, peeps. Get out of it, all of you. I don't care what you are. You're going to get killed. There you go. Get out of it. Nice one. Hey, you as well, Mr. Wraith. Thinks he's so smart, but it's not going to work, is it? Hmm. No. No, sir. No, sir. All right. So, we need to go and find the other corruption biome real quick and break those altars. 
And here we are, my friends. Let's get these things broken. Titanium, cobalt, or calcium, more titanium. Oh, yeah. You see, this is how you get ores to spawn in your world. And um, actually, it's also how you get a bunch more hallow and or corruption to spawn in your world. Because believe it or not, every time you break a demon altar, a random hallowed or corruptified block winds up spawning. And uh, yeah, things can get pretty interesting that way. Good lord. All right, come on. There we go. So yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's actually all of the demon altars in this world that we can break. So yeah, there's not actually many more we can break. I think there's like two in the right hand ocean biome. In fact, let me just have a quick look. I don't remember seeing some. Uh, yeah, yeah, check it out. I'm pretty sure there's two demon altars right next to each other in the ocean biome. I mean, what the heck's up with that? That's kind of strange. <laughs> but oh well. So now we should have a slightly easier job of finding all the titanium. So I need to go and see if I can't make myself a whole bunch of uh, Spelunker potions, because obviously that's going to assist us greatly. And then we will see about getting ourselves a crap ton of titanium. Alright, let's get it. Alrighty guys, so I kind of decided to kill two birds with one stone and start extending the elevator downwards a little bit. As you can see, we have just pretty much hit the halfway point down the world and I have started to find some titanium. So I guess without further ado, the time has come to get some mining underway. Let's buff up real quick and let's see what kind of damage we could do to the world. Just remember, we need ourselves 460 bits of titanium, okay? 460, it is gonna be a tall task for 20 minutes worth of Spelunker Potion, but God damn it, my friends, I still feel like we should be able to do it. I really do think we can do it. Uh, Terraria, are you slightly drunk? I mean, come on, there's weird terrain generation, and then there's abandoned mineshaft houses completely submerged in a massive ass lava pool. Um, okay, that's, 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 that's great and all. Cheers! <laughs> Aha! Another accessory for the ant charm has just been obtained. The armor polish. I must admit, I was kind of expected to get that in a dungeon and not around here, but... I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Aha! So here we go, my friends. 460 bits of titanium ore. It's It's gotta be said. It took a long time to get it all. But uh, do you know what? I honestly think it's gonna be worth it to get the extra sets of armor. Because, you know, hybrid armor is super, super cool. And I really do appreciate that the fact the, uh, they actually went ahead and added in, you know, the, the other hybrid set. We had a melee ranged hybrid set for the longest time and now we've got a mage summoner hybrid set which is awesome man it really is okay so i think what i'll do oh in fact yeah the potion has literally just went out but i want to try and get a little bit more titanium just in case i haven't got enough and my t my calculations were incorrect Hopefully there weren't, obviously, but, uh, you know, it's, it's always a good idea to go ahead and get more than the amount of stuff you actually need. But then again, I can't find a damn thing right now, so I'm thinking that maybe we could just go back and just see what we've got. Alright, uh, doo -doo -doo, heading over here, that's an explosive, I don't want to be getting on the wrong side of that. Uh, yeah, man, I, I don't see, I really do think that my calculations were correct, though, I don't know. I don't know, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Okay. Yeah, I'm not finding any more. All right, let's head back and let's see what kind of damage we can do. All right, so let's just uh, start off with the old quick stacky. Uh, oh, we have a problem. Our blocks chest is entirely full. That's kind of sucky. All right, potions. Boom, boom, boom. You can go in there. You can go in there. We've got a flower of fire from a remaining shadow chest that was there. So that's kind of nice. You can go in there. We've got arcane armor polish. Uh, you can go... Oh... Wow, okay, so we can maybe sell one of the trifle maps. Uh, can you not? I'm trying to not break the bottles, but I keep doing that. Because <laughs> I'm a dumb idiot. Jeez. All right, you go in there, and the flower fire, I guess, is going to go round in the weapons chest of awesomeness. All right, so you can go in there real quick. And yeah, okay, so the question is, do we have any frost cores? I don't think we have any frost cores. We haven't taken down a single ice golem yet, have we? Okay, so we've got the forbidden fragments at the very least. So let's go and grab these little things right, right here. Let's grab the titanium ore out. And ladies and gentlemen, the time has come for the first time ever in uh, Terraria 1.3.3. We are going to make ourselves the forbidden armor. Let's do it, man. So forbidden treads, eight defense increases max number of minions. Nice one. Okay, Forbidden Robes, 12 defense, increases maximum mana by 80. That's really, really nice, actually. That's really cool. Okay, and the Forbidden Mask, 6 defense, 
15% increased magic and minion damage. Ooh, I kind of want to put these on and see how they look. All right, let me just uh, take these little suckers off real quick. Oh, look at me! Look at me! Double tap down to call an ancient storm to the location of your cursor. Okay, so do I need to be outside to do this? I think I do. All right. Oh my... That's incredible! That's so cool! So we've basically got the same attack that that sand elemental had. Yo! That's freaking sweet, dudes! That's amazing! What's our defense looking like? 36 compared to this, which gives us 48. Ooh. Okay, so in terms of the plantar fight, it's definitely going to be the chlorophyte headgear we go for. Because uh, we're going to try and do it with the mage loadout, because it will give me hope for if I wind up doing an expert mage playthrough in the future. So, yeah. I'm pretty happy with how we've done so far, but uh, I think to finish off this episode, we'll go ahead to the Plantera thing, the, the underground jungle, and we'll get the arena dug out at the very least. So yeah, let's get it done, my friends. Alright guys, I've marked out a box shape right next to this Plantera bulb right here, so without further ado, I think we've got a bit of an exploding montage to do. Oh yeah, I'm looking forward to this one, my friends. Let's do it! Alrighty guys, so the time has come. The time has indeed come. We got ourselves a bunch of campfires and we have the ability to make ourselves a few heart lanterns as well. We're going to do that just so we can get a bit of extra health regeneration. And then yeah, we're going to give this Plantera fight a go just to finish off this episode. Even if we don't manage to do it, we do have ourselves a bunch more summoners sort of all over the place. In fact, there's a few near here in fact. So that is really, really quite cool. So there we go. You can go right there and if I can avoid getting hurt by that dude, that'd be fantastic. And yeah, most of the enemies appear to be on the outside of this box which is super super awesome because it means survival should be a little bit on the easier side all right so yeah man we're looking good right now we're looking good the question is will we be able to do this first time let's go ahead and find out here we go plantara has awoken let's go and start off by using the cursed flames all right here she comes here she comes all right Let's see how we do, my friends. I really hope we'll be able to do this. If so, I'll be so, so happy. If we can do this first time, I don't even know, man. That'd be incredible. All right, we've already lost 100 health, unfortunately, which kind of sucks. All right, let's switch back to the Cursed Flames real quick. There we go. Obviously, because we have the uh, Mana Flare now, we can just, like, automatically regen Mana Potions, which is awesome. I'm very, very happy with that. Okay. Crystal Storm seems to be doing the job so far. She's down around a quarter health now, which is kind of cool. The uh, lasting damage from the Cursed Flames is also doing the job very, very nicely. Come on, mate. Can we actually do this? Tis the question. We are losing a lot of health now. Oh, mate, this is going to be very, very difficult. Oh, no, and here comes the... Here come the balls! Here come the balls, here come the balls. Oh, no, I'm going to die! I I'm legit going to die, actually. God damn it! Oh, mate, I feel like I should have a charm of myths and I might actually do better, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna die 100% like there's no way we're surviving this All right, I mean Second step. Yeah, yeah, that kind of sucks. Okay We need to get some sort of uh, we need to get buff potions first of all We did that with that buff potions. We got it down to half health with that buff potion. I mean, I mean that's not bad. That is not bad. In second stage, I was going to go for the magical harp simply because it pierces uh, multiple enemies at the same time. And I feel like that would have done a lot better. So, yeah. Okay. Well, we do have ourselves an arena dugout at the very, very least. I'm very, very happy with that. And uh, as you can see down here, like I said, there's another plant terrible near the arena. So, again, I'm happy with that. And, yeah, we'll go ahead and get some buff potions. Hopefully, maybe some other accessories, perhaps. Maybe the charm of myths. That would be very, very cool for this mage loadout. But, uh, yeah. In the meantime, it's going to be time to end the episode. I apologize if it's been a longer or shorter one. No idea how long it's been because of the farming stuff. But yeah, if you did enjoy the episode, do be sure to drop a like rating. And of course, hit that subscribe button if you want to know when the future videos are out. Thank you so much for watching. Your support, as always, has been much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next one.